In this video, Arduino library is created for FM receiver TEA5767 to play different FM stations. To learn how to program the FM receiver in assembly interface with Arduino, please refer to my previous tutorial. A link to that tutorial is available in the description. Back into the music coming up in minutes here. Good morning. You're listening to Taz and Jim. The created library has this constructor which is used to declare objects. The library has five methods. This method initializes the I2C circuitry of the 80 mega 328 microcontroller. This method plays the FM station based on the input frequency. This method puts the FM receiver in standby mode by muting the receiver. This method returns the frequency of the currently playing FM station. And this method will return the signal level of the FM station. The header file has the definition of this class, which has public members. This is the constructor. And we have five methods which are defined within the source file. Next we have the source file of the library. We first include the created header file. And then we include these function prototypes, which are links to subroutines written in assembly. These subroutines are used to program the I2C of the microcontroller 80 mega 328. Next we look at the public methods which are available to the user of the library. We begin with method initialize I2C, which will call this assembly subroutine in order to program the I2C circuitry of the 80 mega 328 so that we have a serial clock frequency of 400 kilohertz and also we enable the I2C device. Next we look at method standby which is used to mute the FM receiver and also initialize it. And these are the bytes we need to send to the device using I2C protocol. Method set frequency is used to send to the FM receiver the radio frequency of the FM station in order to play it so it has one argument which is the FRF and this value is then used to compute the uh, PLL value and then we extract the low byte and then the high byte of this PLL value and then send these information to the FM receiver using I2C protocol. Method get frequency returns the radio frequency of the playing FM station I2C read protocol is used to get the low and high bytes of the PLL value and then this value is used to calculate the FM station frequency and then return it to the user of this uh, method. Finally, this method returns the signal level of the playing FM station as a percentage. I2C read protocol is used to get the byte value of the signal level and then this byte value is converted to percentage and returned to the user of the method. After we install the created library within the Arduino IDE, we can now have a look at the available sketches. In this first demo sketch, we are playing a selected FM station and displaying station data on the serial monitor, namely the frequency of the station and the signal level. Within the sketch, we include the created library for the FM receiver. And we declare to the constructor the object radio. And within the setup function, we initialize the I2C of the microcontroller. And then we uh, execute this function to play a station which has a frequency of 101.3 megahertz. Next, we display on the serial monitor the frequency of the playing FM station by using function get frequency. And then we display the signal level of the station by executing this function. Inside the loop function, while a push button connected to a digital pin is not pressed, this while loop is indefinite. Once we press the button, we exit the loop. This delay eliminates any switch bouncing and then 
this function will put the FM receiver in standby mode and wait again for a button press. When a button is pressed, we exit the second while loop, apply a delay, and then play the FM station. And now for a quick demonstration. Airplane mode, wait 10 seconds and then take it out of airplane mode. I guess doing this. In this next example sketch, we have the data from the FM station displayed on 1602 LCD. We have the frequency of the FM station and the signal level displayed. And this is the circuit diagram which shows the interfacing of the FM receiver with the Arduino using I2C connection and the interfacing of the 1602 LCD with the Arduino using six digital pins and we also have a push button connected to a digital pin. The operation of the FM receiver system is as follows. Initially the system is in standby mode. When we do a short press on the push button the first FM station plays and we see on the LCD the station data. We see the frequency in megahertz and we see the signal level which is represented in bar graph and also percentage. Pressing the push button again will play the next FM station. Pressing the button again will play the third station. In this system we have three FM stations stored in memory so pushing the push button will loop through the three stations and finally doing a long press of the push button will put the system in standby mode and the audio is muted. You're listening to FM 101, today's best and yesterday's favorites. Back to the sketch, we've included two libraries. This is the FM receiver library and this is the library for the 1602 LCD. This library was created and explained in detail in a previous video. A link to that video is available in the description. Inside the setup function, we initialize the I2C of the microcontroller, then we initialize uh, the LCD, and then we put the FM receiver in standby mode and display on the LCD title message. Inside the loop function, when we press the push button, then we begin to measure the button press period. And if this period is more than half a second, then we put the FM radio in standby mode and display the title. Otherwise, we play the ith FM station and then display the frequency and the signal level of that station on the LCD. In a future video, more functionalities will be added to the created library, such as scanning for FM stations. Thank you for watching.